Now I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about our URLs. So I'm going to hop back over to the public side here. Now, right now we're using the uh, page equals to. Um, so page equals the ID number in order to pull the pages here. Which I'll note, you see that all of our uh, pages are now in the uh, nav bar here. Um, but if you've seen lately, and this is pretty popular, and, and uh, you may have wanted to know how to do this, as I know this was something that I really wanted to know how to do, and it confused me for a while. But that's the uh, clean URLs. Uh, there's, there's actually a couple names for it floating around, fancy URLs or pretty URLs. But basically, instead of doing this uh, query up here at the top, the page equals two, um, which is kind of ugly and uh, not very search engine friendly. Instead of having the page equals, we could just do slash, say, about. Or something like that. And to give you an example, we'll head over to the Digital Crafts website. And this is how you get links or URLs like this. If we click on private training, which, by the way, we offer, shameless plug, but uh, you see we just have simply slash private training. Very easy to remember and much better for search engines. And we keep the, uh, the same kind of format throughout the page here. So if you go to one of my courses, click on PHP concepts, you see that our, our URL here now has series saying that we're on the series page. Which series it is, PHP what the chapter is, arrays, and then which video to take. And that's pretty neat. But in order to do this, we need to edit the htaccess file, or the .htaccess file, which tells the server, or Apache in this case, to do um, certain things with the URL. Now, there is a way that I've been doing this for a long time, um, that I've just recently, as of a couple weeks ago, um, replaced. And I was doing this all in HD Access, which when we get into HD Access, you'll see that it's, uh, it's a little cumbersome, especially when, when uh, you're learning PHP. This is not PHP code. But what I found is a way to do this using minimal HD Access and let everything else be handled by PHP. And uh, we'll jump into that a little bit down the road here. But first, what we need to do is actually create what we're going to call slugs, uh, kind of stealing that term from WordPress. In this case, about would be considered the slug. That's going to be the identifier for the page in the URL. So if we hop over to our database, go over to our pages table, we need to add another column here. We have our label which is uh, pretty much the name of the page for us, the title, which goes in the uh, browser's title bar, or the tab, the header, which is kind of the heading of the page itself, and then the body. But we now need a slug. So let's go ahead and go to structure up here. We're going to add one column after. We're going to do it after the... Uh, user. I click go and we're just going to call this slug and it's going to be a var car and we'll just go ahead and make the length 300 which is pretty generous and go ahead and save. So let's click back over to browse here and we now need to have a slug here for each one of these pages. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these test pages though. I'm just going to get rid of all the pages that I created as tests and just leave the uh, home and about us. So I'm just going to check these over here and click the delete button. Say yes I do. And there we go. So now we can just uh, simply edit these two. So we'll click check all, change. And now we can put a slug in here. Now there's going to be some rules to these slugs. No spaces. Um, we're going to make them all lowercase. And uh, if we need to have a space or a separation between words, we're going to end up using the dash character. Um, and the reason we don't use the underscore character, or one main reason, is that uh, 
the dash character is kind of uh, this is uh, gonna be my own explanation of it anyway. Unlike the underscore, the dash character is considered its own word in a sense. So it's going to actually separate the two words. So if we did about dash us dash us, this cuts these words into two. Whereas if we did the underscore, it considers that part of the word. So now, just as an example, if I double click on this, we select the whole thing. So that's why we're going to use dashes. So about dash us, or you could just simply do about. Uh, depends on how descriptive you want it to be. Although this isn't the right page. So I'm going to do home. And then about dash us. Click go. Now if we hop back over to Tana, we're going to go ahead and change some things so that we're pulling the page based on the slug instead of the ID. So let's go ahead and let's close what we have open here because now we're working on the front end, not the admin. And uh, minimize the admin folder. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, template and get the uh, navigation.php. Now we have this open and we actually don't do this here. We change them in the nav main function. So let's go to functions folder, template.php. And here you go. So what we need to do is here with uh, page equals, instead of nav ID, we need to do nav slug. And because page ID up here is going to eventually be turned into slug, when we do this uh, check for uh, to see whether the page is active, we're going to go ahead and change this to slug. So we go ahead and save this. Pop back over to our page. Refresh. And if you click on about us, we're going to see page equals about us. However, we haven't changed um, the, uh, the page information to... Uh, however, our data page function is still looking for the ID. So we need to go make some changes over there. So if we open up data.php in the functions folder, we have that here, but I also want to open up where we're calling it here. So if we go to config folder, open up setup.php. Okay, page equals data underscore page. So this is where we're pulling the information and page ID is equal to get page. So in this case now, page is going to be a slug. So this right here, this line is fine. However, for the default page, we want to change that from one to home. So now page equals data page and that's going to send a slug instead of the ID. However, kind of like we did with the data users function in the admin, let's go ahead and set it up so it can take both. So pop back over to data.php, and we're going to put in that condition. So above the query, we're going to do if is underscore numeric, and then for the variable, it's going to be ID in our curly brackets, we we'll create a variable called condition or cond equals and then we just need to put our condition in there where id if it's numeric equals id then for the else if it's not numeric it's going to be the slug hopefully so cond equals where slug equals and we want to put this in quotes because we know it's going to be a string ID and close that line and just like we did in the uh, users 
function, we need to take out the condition and replace it with the condition variable. So we'll save that. Hop back over to our page. Let's refresh. There. Now we've got the About Us page. But if we change this to a number, say 1, it takes us to the home page. Now it does mess up our navigation, which uh, we could address that, and maybe we'll do that later. But what it does do is just in the event that it's uh, that a number's been put in instead of the slug, uh, rather than get a page full of errors, we're still pulling the correct page and its content.